What's up, everybody? Um, happy Tuesday. Um, I'm not going to do the General Hospital fanfic episode again today. I'm going to bring it back tomorrow. Just been a little bit busy. Um, but before I get into this General Hospital review, um, word around the rumor mill. Well, it's no longer a rumor. It's been confirmed that Roger Howarth will be... Um, on the new on the show flash it's like a superhero show i'm not sure if any of you are familiar with the show it's called flash on the cw network it comes on tuesdays at eight um it's about superheroes and stuff like that um i'm not too sure about the show myself i've never watched it but i have heard about it um roger howarth has a recurring role on that show i think he plays a journalist i think um so yeah, he just landed the recurring role on the show. Um, so congratulations to Roger Howarth. Um, I don't believe that this will affect him being on General Hospital because this is just a recurring situation. So he's not going to be on every single episode. Um, but congratulations to him. You know, he's. I think Roger Howarth does real well in um, prime time. I've seen him on the the show on uh, I think Showtime or HBO called California Cation. He does pretty well on primetime. I think that could be his new venture, you know, doing primetime TV. Um, So let me get into this fuckery of an episode. I did not really, I was spacing out on this episode. I'm going to be quite honest with you. I didn't pay attention to certain things in this episode, certain dialogue. One of the things I did not pay attention to, which I probably should have, but I didn't, was this secret that Rosalie is keeping. This big secret that she told Nina she don't care if Nina reveals. I believe Nina told Madeline the secret. So if y'all know what that secret is, if they actually revealed it, let me know in the comments because I was not paying attention when they were talking. Um. So yeah, you know, Nina's hell bent on getting Ava's baby. I think it's fucking stupid and it's deranged. I mean, here we got all these crazy people on this show. <sighs> A lot of these people need psychotherapy. I'm just saying. Um, years of intensive therapy. Nina, she definitely need therapy. Somebody says she should go to jail. I don't think Nina should go to jail because she's crazy and i think jail is not a good place for a crazy person i think they need intensive therapy jail is not going to do them no good i'm just saying um and madeline of course is now kissing nina ass of course and nina called her on it because she just wants that money that nina's father left that's really what she want madeline ain't slick so um she called lisa her sister, Obrecht, to help her daughter, I guess, stay under the radar for a while or give her a place to stay. Um, I figured that she would call Lisa because who else can she call? Nobody else can, will help Madeline. Madeline, I don't think she really knows anybody else in that town. Um, I've, I, damn, like, I just noticed, like, it's been a long time since we've seen TJ. I just noticed that like it's been a while since we saw TJ but you know when the school season is in we barely see kids on soap operas they don't really showcase the teenagers really until the summer because you know they try to get the teens to watch the show more so but it was good to see him you know interact with Jordan and you know it was heartbreaking to watch that scene and see the tears in his eyes because he thinks that his mother's a drug pusher um but of course she can't tell him the real truth um because she can't afford to blow her cover which i can understand but um is at some point she need to hurry up and tell her son because you could tell it's breaking his heart that he think his mother is a drug dealer or some kingpin or something i felt bad for him so nathan he running around looking for that witch nina he can't find her nowhere he bumped into rosalie and rosalie assured him that his sister could take care of herself of course she can the bitch got money the bitch ain't in wheelchair so of course she could take care of herself damn nutcase um so Sonny is still going with his convoluted plan to frame heather weber for franco's apparent murder i think this is the dumbest plan Sonny ever came up with i'm sorry but i just think this whole plan is just stupid 
Only reason Sonny wants to kill Franco is because he really wants Franco to keep that secret and he know Franco won't. I don't really think this has too much to do with Carly. I doubt it because Sonny didn't even go this far when Jax married Carly. He didn't even go this far when his other enemy, Lorenzo, married Carly. So why go this far when it's Franco? You didn't go through these lengths when it was Jax or Lorenzo Alcazar marrying Carly. So obviously this is all a ploy just to get Franco to keep his mouth shut about that secret. He know the only way that's going to happen is if Franco's dead. Sonny ain't slick. And Olivia basically called him out. She was like, well, she think that he just doing all this to get Carly back or whatever. Olivia, shut up. But I do think this is retarded writing because just a few months ago, not too long ago, he was begging Olivia to come back to him. And now all of a sudden he's in love with Carly again. Like, damn, Sonny, can you ever be alone? Like, the year ain't even over yet. Just a few short months ago, he was trying to get Olivia back. Now you're running after Carly. It's like, damn, you're like a horny old man. I mean, my God. He needs to like, I don't know. He just need to chill out. So Franco was talking to Carly or whatever. I really don't give two fucks. Um, Franco slash Todd. I should start calling him Todd because that's basically how he acts. He um, has this big wedding surprise, and of course, we all know that it has something to do with Heather Weber, of course, because Olivia had a vision about Heather holding a knife, and him and Carly went home, and he was looking at a picture or whatever of Heather, you know, from an old uh, newspaper clipping, and him and Carly decide to get pizza or whatever, because we all know Carly ass cannot cook. That's a damn shame. How that woman got three kids and don't know how to cook? My God. I bet you them kids, I bet you when Michael and Morgan were young, they grew up on pizza and Chinese. I'm telling you, that's a shame. <laughs> or Sunny did all the cooking when she was married to him because Carly can't cook for shit. That woman can burn. That's all she know how to do. I bet you she could burn toast. I'm just saying. Um, Obviously, it ain't the cooking that keeps the men coming back clearly because the bitch can't cook um i'm ready for this wedding to just be over with i know we all have a problem with michael being at this wedding but from what i heard franco was gonna play his video uh, that he has a carly and sunny and Car sunny admitting that he shot uh aj so if the reveal is gonna happen at the wedding i'm all for it because i'm ready for this storyline to be over um Oh, did you hear the rumors? I heard that when Michael found out, he wanted to go after Sonny. He found Sonny pointing a gun. This is all rumors. He found Sonny pointing a gun at Ava and Michael took out a gun and pointed it at Sonny. And Dante had to come and stop Michael from shooting Sonny. I said, oh shit, I hope that's true. I hope they ain't just rumors. I hope it's true because I've been dying to see this. Some people say they hate that Sonny's being bashed all the time. Let me tell y'all something. Sonny brought all this on himself. Nobody forced that man to shoot AJ. He wasn't off his meds when he did it. He was, he knew exactly what he's, he was doing. He had all his mental faculties and he shot him because he wanted to. That's on Sonny. So Sonny has to pay the piper. It is what it is. I feel, I don't feel not one iota of remorse for Sonny for whatever happens to him. Is his doing. Um, so, this biatch, Ava, um, Silas helped her, whatever, stop the labor so now she can carry the baby to term. I really don't see the, the point of this baby being born. I'm not, I, I don't like that they kill kids off the show, but I just don't see the point of this baby. Number one, like I said, and I will state it for the last time, Sonny does not want more kids, and I do think he should get a vasectomy. Two, Morgan is too young for this. He ain't ready for no baby, so why saddle him with a kid? We all know Ava probably won't be around for long. Um, I doubt it, because the way they write her, they're, trust me, they're writing her into a corner. So, I hate that she got Morgan running around like a little lap dog for her feeding her, and oh, please. I'll let that bitch die in the street. 
She a manipulative bitch. I'm just saying, like, Ava got it. She gonna get what she got coming to her. Um. So Kiki got a call from Michael or whatever. She went to the hospital to meet up with Michael. And Michael told her that he thinks Ava was the one that shot AJ. I'm ready for Michael to get some peace and for him to finally know the truth and for him to kick all these lying bastards out of his life, including Kiki, because Michael is one of those characters. I, I, I just feel like he's he's just always probably going to be my number one favorite character on the show because Michael is the most genuine on the show. Like He's not a backstabber. He's not manipulative you know he's smart he he has what it takes to run i mean look at him he's the ceo of elq he's he's taking board meetings at the hospital the kid is smart you know i always wanted michael to go down this path you know the corporate raider path not the mob boss i think morgan might excel at that one day but i think michael is better off legitimate wouldn't it be funny if michael and morgan turned out to be just like jacks and jerry jacks wouldn't that kind of be funny um, except for Morgan becoming a terrorist, but I can see Morgan becoming the next mob boss. At least one of Sonny's kids have to take over one day. I just don't think Michael is equipped to do it. I think he's better off as an ELQ, you know, corporate guy. Um, so what else happened on this damn episode? I think that's everything. Cause I don't remember everything about this episode. Like I said, I was barely paying attention to this episode. Um, so I think that's everything and I'm going to end the video here. If that's not everything, then I'll just cover it tomorrow. But I think, I don't know. I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. I think because when they, t when they drag storylines out for months, the dialogue is the same. That's why I get bored with it. Cause the dialogue is finally starting to heat up with this Franco and Carly wedding, because I think everything will be revealed at the wedding so i'm kind of glad that these storylines that's been dragging out are finally going to end the luke storyline needs to end now um so i'll see all of you tomorrow have a great day see all of you tomorrow